Yesterday prelims results were declared and this is for those who could not clear. First of all, take a break for a couple of days and uh, do whatever cheers you up. It can be anything, it can be travel, it can be sports, whatever cheers you up. Just take a break for a couple of days and uh, do that. And after that, get back and analyze your prelims paper. Many people make this mistake that they never analyze the prelims paper. They stay in denial and they are afraid to even look at the answer keys. So that is something you need to immediately do. The answer keys are available from various sources over the internet and just use any key and just analyze it and see what are your weak areas. Then you need to check your score also. How far are you from the cutoff and what will be your strategy in the upcoming attempts so this is something which you need to do immediately to you know set the right direction for the next attempt analyzing your keys also gives you great insights on what your strategy was and how did it work because there are certain areas where you have good number of questions for example polity economics geography history so how did you do in these sectors so you must analyze that and if your strategy has not worked because prelims is just to clear it will not feature in the marriage so you need to develop a strategy to get over the line so has your strategy worked or not it's very important to see the answers and sector by sector dissect your strategy and then improve it in the next attempt once you have done that, then you must start your preparation for 2025. So the first thing you need to do is if you have already completed preparing for your optional, then that's great. So you can revise that in a couple of months. If you have not done your optional now, then you immediately start your prep and maybe in the next four months, five months max, you can finish your optional. And then after that, you can give your focus on the general studies plus prelims preparation and if you're not comfortable with csat that is very important that you have a special strategy for that because some people are good at uh, all other things but they are not good at csat and it's just a qualifying exam where you just have to score one third of the marks and uh, sometimes that stops many people so that should not happen so have a strategy for csat as well Simultaneously, uh, since the next prelims is far off, you start practicing your writing skills as well. And the best way to do it is to write one answer every day. Just pick a random topic which you are looking at in the newspapers, the magazine, whatever comes in front of you, something new. Write one answer daily. If you have a group, study group, peer group, let others check your answers. And maybe every Sunday you can write an essay. So if you continue that, let's say till December, then you will improve your writing and you'll be ready for the next mains. So once your base preparation is done for the next prelims, mains, etc. So then you can start looking out for other exams as well. It can be other PCS exams. It can be SSC. It can be CAPF. It can be any other exam. It will also give you the experience of appearing in the exam because sometimes uh, some few people, they give only UPSC and they don't have the previous experience of writing especially mains, especially subjective papers. And then when they do get a chance to write UPSC mains, they do not have the experience. They miss out on questions. They don't know how to approach, etc., etc. So it's very important that uh, if you have time you and if your base preparation is done, then you can attempt all these other exams as well. And if you succeed, good, you can get some work X. And if you not, at least you have the experience of writing these exams. And for those uh, for whom it was the last attempt, yes, it is disappointing and it is, you know, difficult to get over with, but you must get over that. There are various other opportunities other than UPSC itself. There are state PCS. There are so many other exams if you still want to be in government service. And then if you want to be in the development sector, there are so many opportunities with you know the NGOs with the social sector you can be a social entrepreneur etc etc so do not think that this is the end of the world uh, and there are believe me there are many better opportunities and you can do really well in your interest field uh, if you have special interest in certain field I would say you discover or explore certain career options in that particular dimension and if you are still wanting to join the government there are so many other exams so basically, yes, it will be difficult to get over with, with the last attempt, but you must um, again coming back to the first point that do whatever makes you uh, feel uh, better, whatever cheers you up and then get back to the drawing board and uh, get on to the strategy of what you're going to do next. 
At the end, I want you to recall all the efforts you have made your work so hard, possibly for more than a year for this exam. You have given your everything and that you should be proud of, that you have given your everything, you have given your best and sometimes it doesn't work out. So we should not lose hope. We should keep exploring. If there are other uh, attempts, then uh, start your prep immediately and if it is not there then definitely there is something better waiting for you just keep looking keep exploring and keep believing in yourself